Hey folks, how you doing? Hopefully we're all having a great day today. This is one of those rare days where I wanted to come into the shop, just throw some headphones on, listen to some music, and have fun making something. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to narrate any of this video. Just after this intro, it's just going to be nothing but action until it's done. So if you're interested in all of the details, a step-by-step -step explanation will be on my website in article format. I'll have a link to that in the description below. So this project is going to be made out of some reclaimed walnut. This is walnut that was salvaged from a piece of furniture. Who knows what originally was, but all this walnut is beautiful straight grain stuff that I don't particularly want to send to the landfill, and I surely don't want to put it in my burn bin. So we're going to make something out of this old stuff. We're going to make a box storage solution some kind. I'm kind of making this up as I go. I haven't even figured out the design. Something to store the commonly used items on my daughter's vanity. Uh, just stuff to get ready for the day. So hair products, a comb, a brush, stuff like that. That was my only uh, ask from my wife for this build. And I'm going to experiment with the design a little bit kind of making it up as I go. I don't have a design picked out. I'm just going to make it up as I go. But I do know I want to use mitered corners for whatever box tray structure that I build. Mitered corners, and I want to reinforce those with dowels. I've never done that before, so why not uh, experiment with something that doesn't have a lot of uh, expectation, I guess you could say. So this is a corner key doweling jig from Rockler, and what it is is basically you put your cornered your your corner of your joint in like so and then it gives you a bushing at a perfect 45 degree angle to drill a very precise hole you plug the hole with whatever you want sand it smooth and not only do you have reinforced reinforcement for the the structure you increase the structural integrity of the joint but you also have a visual interest right it's going to be a dowel on a 45 degree angle so it's going to look oval you can play around with the different sizes the, the different placements um it's going to be fun to mess with this. So that's the idea for this project. I'm going to shut up and get to work. So I'll talk to you at the end of the video.
Okay, so I goofed up and I need to talk about it for a second. I'm going with two holes on top and two holes on bottom, right? So we have a one eighth of an inch hole top and bottom and then on the inside of that we have a quarter inch hole top and bottom. I haven't, I haven't drilled this one just yet. Uh, because I need to cut the entire top off. I need to reduce this whole thing the height in the height direction. Uh, I, <laughs> I goofed up, All right? So that's supposed to be a small hole and uh, I, apparently my jig wasn't set properly. The stop block wasn't set or it slipped and uh, I goofed up completely on me. Went ahead and cut the top off like I said I was going to and then finished all the cuts. So there we go, symmetry. And now we're ready for dowels. Alright, so that's basically it for this build. I have to kind of keep wiping up the excess finish as it dries. This is a oil wax finish, so it's going to soak in and kind of dry for the most part overnight, but it'll take a week or two to fully cure like most other finishes. Uh, but I'm going to let this sit in front of a fan overnight here in the shop and then tomorrow I'll probably, tomorrow morning I'll probably do some, take some beauty shots of it and then uh, show it to you in its final resting place, but not too bad. This was kind of an interesting design that I don't think I would have otherwise Tried it's just uh, ju I just tried to make this box more interesting than a simple box So that's I guess the reason why I added the second layer, but I like the whole cantilever design I've always been a fan of stuff. That's just cantilevered and floating out in space. I think that's pretty neat uh, anyway the Splines or the keys rather not splines keys keys turned out pretty good some of this wood is uh, Has a little bit of defects here and there. This is reclaimed wood, so it's not perfect and I think on One of I think right there that one right there. I have a little tiny tiny bit of tear out As I was drilling that hole. I think that's the worst one. That's a smidgen right there I'm just being nitpicky now you got to stop being nitpicky, right? Uh, no one else is going to notice these little itty bitty things. Uh, anyway, speaking of no one else is going to notice, the bottom panel has a nice section of curly walnut, so that looks good. It is reclaimed material, like I said, so we do have a few holes which don't really matter at all. Uh, that's it. It's late. I need to go to bed. Uh, thank you to Rockler Woodworking and Hardware for supporting this video. I'll have links down in the description that uh, you guys can check out to some of the tools that uh, I used to, com to complete this as well as some of my other favorite Rockler woodworking and hardware stuff. If you're in the market for a new tool, check them out, rockler.com. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about this. This was supposed to be just a simple box and now it's two simple boxes. <laughs> All right, time to, time to go to bed. Go to my website, jayscustomcreations.com slash newsletter to sign up for my email newsletter so you don't miss anything that I publish. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video. The Art of Woodworking. Download this free guide with 40 step-by-step -step woodworking plans. Download for free. Link in the description below.